welcome back to another video. Today is going to be super exciting because we are making the famous ube mochi pancake and waffle mix. If you haven't seen this, it's been floating around Facebook, Instagram, maybe TikTok? But it is Trader Joe's ube mochi pancake and waffle mix. So it's chewy, it's fluffy. That's what I'm assuming, um, which is why we're going to try it today. If you don't know what ube is, by the way, it's a kind of purple yam. It doesn't have the strongest taste, but I guess uh, kind of like kumara, which no one would know what that is. That's a New Zealand term. Sweet potato. It tastes a bit like sweet potato, but purple. I've got my pan here, mixing bowl. We've got a few ingredients that it requires, which is just water, eggs, and butter. And that's about it, so let's get mixing. Okay, so I've got my bowl here. It is on a shoebox. <laughs> So we want to make four inch pancakes. We're going to make three quarter cups of this. Wow, this smells amazing. One, two, three. And then to that, we're going to add a third of a cup of water. And the next thing we have to do is add an egg. One teaspoon of butter, which I have melted in the microwave. Can mix it all up. Okay, so as I was mixing it, didn't really look like it was gonna make a lot. There was not a lot of batter. It'd probably make around two pancakes. So I have actually doubled the recipe right now and I'm gonna mix it and hopefully the batter will be a little bit bigger. Alrighty, I've just finished up mixing all the batter. It has yielded quite a little bit, so hopefully we get a few pancakes. It smells, it actually surprisingly actually does smell like ube and a bit like sweet rice flour, which is i.e. mochi. But now we just have to actually cook it okay so i've just put in the first pancake i put in i put in around half a cup of batter i love the color though it looks super nice oh no did i overcook it oh <gasps> that smells so good first one on the plate Look at the colors. It's pretty close if I must say so myself. I mean, look at that. Um, I'm pretty impressed. I'm now gonna put some berries on it, some maple syrup, make it look all nice, and then we can have our final taste test. I'm gonna test try it. I'm so excited. I actually have a bite here that I used to carve it out. Um, so this is what the inside looks like. Got some maple syrup on the side. <gasps> Ube mochi pancake and waffle mix. Taste test. Oh my gosh. That actually tastes really good. Beyond my expectations. It's actually really chewy, light mochi, and you can taste the ube flavor. Two things I was most skeptical about, and two things I am actually highly impressed about. It is, it is so chewy. Oh my gosh. I was not expecting it to be like this texture. It's like, it's half fluffy, half chewy. T, do you wanna try some? Hmm, it's like bouncy a little bit. Yeah. I like eating it in big stacks like this. This went beyond my expectations. It doesn't look like it's gonna be chewy or something. It looks kind of dense when you look at it like that, but it's actually mochi ube pancake. I'm very, 
a strawberry. I'm very impressed. I can't stop eating it. I've already had breakfast. One more bite. Oh no, it all crashed. Final bite. Mm. Delicious. Oh my gosh, what a success. Okay, if you live in America, highly recommend trying this out. That is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video, please don't forget to give it a like. Subscribe for more videos um, and comment whether you've heard of ube, whether you like pancakes, what's your favorite type of pancake. Comment whatever you like and I will see you in my next video. Bye!